Hello, this is a specimen of the stomach and we're looking at the mucosal surface. There is a localized lesion here which uh, I will magnify for you and you can see that it is a punched out defect in the mucosa. Um, this is a gastric ulcer. When we look at gastric ulcers, we want to describe the shape of the ulcer, the base of the ulcer and the edges. So we're looking at the shape, it is punched out, uh, it has got quite a sharply demarcated outline and it's slightly irregular in some areas. The base appears relatively clean and if you look carefully, you can actually see uh, a blood vessel. This is a cross-section of a blood vessel that is located in the base, which will give you a good clue as to how this patient could have presented clinically, possibly because of erosion into the vessel uh, that could have been quite severe upper GI bleeding. The edges of the ulcer appear to be relatively flush with the rest of the mucosa. They are not heaped up or raised or rolled up. And if we see heaped up edges, we're always worried about a malignant ulcer. In other words, a cancer that has ulcerated. So in this instance, there are no worrying features of malignancy. One of the complications of peptic ulcer is that of perforation and when we look at this we actually can't see through this through to the opposite side let me just show you the cirrhosal surface so the rest of the wall and the cirrhosal surface are still intact so this also has not perforated this is an example of peptic of a peptic ulcer and the causative effects would include H. pylori infection um, increased acid production as well as certain drugs and the commonest cause of peptic ulcer is H. pylori infection. I'm just going to show you a very brief uh, description of the microscopic appearance. So here we have the intact gastric mucosa and then the sharply punched out edge of the ulcer. And you can see here this is the base of the ulcer. And following on to this other side here is where the intact residual mucosa is. There is also a blood vessel here, but at this particular section, the ulcer has not yet eroded into this blood vessel. We will go into more detail of the microscopic appearance in a separate video. So in summary, we can see in the gastric mucosa that there is a ovoid, slightly irregular defect, which is punched out, and there is a clean base and a vessel at the base of the ulcer. The edges are relatively flat and flush with the rest of the gastric mucosa, so this is likely to be a benign peptic ulcer.